what's going on guys? I'm uh, Tyler Davis from Creek Anglers on Instagram. Well, the name's in the game. It's about 40 degrees in Ohio today, so I'm itching to get out to try to get some cold creek smallies. It's been really cold lately, but the last couple of days we had a little bit of a warm-up, so when you get a little bit of a warm-up streak, they, them smallies might come out to play. You're going to need a sensitive rod and some sensitive line to get the job done. I want to be able to feel it when they breathe on it so I can feel that light bite. I'm using the uh, Pissifun Ultra Tough Braid today and 15 pound. That's about the same uh, line di diameter as 4 pound mono so it allows me to cast those light lures a mile and that's really helpful when you're using these ultra finesse setups. I also like to use a, a decent sized leader in either fluorocarbon or monofilament but today I'm going to be using some 6 pound strand monofilament as my leader. The water's a little stained so I don't really need to worry about that much of the visibility of the line. The best knot I've found for using uh, braid to mono or braid to fluorocarbon for a leader is the double uni knot. So let's jump into it and I'll show you how to tie it. We're going to do the double uni knot now. Uh, you're going to take your leader material and your braided line and you're going to lay them over each other. I like to start with the mono first. I bend it down, pull it up and over and you create this loop right here. Tag ends right there above my thumb on the left. You're going to take that tag end and you're going to wrap it around both lines through that loop about five or six times. So now you got your tag end and my right thumb and you got your wraps. You're just going to pull that tag end nice and tight. So now you have that knot there. So now all you got to do is do the same thing on the other side. Sometimes you got to pull yourself a little bit more braid. You want plenty of slack so you don't you have plenty of uh, line to work with. So pull some out. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to lay them across each other. I like to pinch it here. Pull that braid down. And then pull it up. And I got my loop and my tag end. Wrap it around both pieces of line five or six times. So, so now you have it wrapped five or six times. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to take that braid tag in and just pull it nice and tight. So now, here's my favorite part about this knot. Wet it down. Get it nice and wet. And all you got to do is take your mono line and your braid line and slowly pull. And you can see those two knots come together. Boom. And that's a strong knot. So now... What you got to do is take your uh, tag ends and clip them off and you're ready to get out there. It's a little tricky at first this knot. You know, I'm not the greatest at it. I've been tying it about six months. But I got, I'm good enough with it now that I've practiced it. I can do it out in the field with uh, gloves on a lot of times. So, but a lot of times, you know, I like to leave myself six or seven feet of the leader material. So then I could just, every time I break, uh, snap off or break, or I want to change lures, I have plenty of extra leader material to keep going with. I want to show you guys another knot, and that's the Palomar knot. This is the knot I use when I go straight braid to my lures. This is the best knot for frogs, especially. It is a very strong knot. But a lot of times I'll use this knot when I'm fishing the creeks and rivers when the water's high and muddy because the line visibility isn't an issue and it allows me to get free from snags because I can bend the hooks out. So let's jump into that knot. So now we're doing the Palomar knot. I'm going to use this little Helgramite lure. You're going to take uh, your braid here and you're going to fold it over itself. And you're going to want a decent amount of it folded over itself because it's got to pass over the lure. But you also want to get this real fine because this has got to go through the eye of the lure. Pass it through the eye. And give yourself a good amount. You're going to take this and do a square knot over those two pieces of line right there with your loop. Pull that up. Pass it through. Hold on to both pieces of line here. I'm going to use my mouth to pull this knot here. Just pull that knot through. Now you have this loop right here. As you can see. 
and your tag in, you're going to take the loop, this is super easy, and just pass the lure through the loop. So pull it up and through. Now it's on top again. You're going to take your, your lead end going back to your rod and just pull. And that's it. And that's a very strong knot. You just got to tag, uh, cut your tag end off now. And you're ready to go. This is my favorite knot for frogs. It's super strong. I also like to use the double loop knot. This is a great knot for crankbaits, jerk baits, uh, topwater walking baits. What it does is that creates a loop in the line and it allows more movement out of your lures. I know that a lot of people don't like to use braid when it comes to treble hooked lures, but if you pair that with a moderate action rod and a light drag, you can do it. And it's especially nice in the spring when I'm fishing for smallmouth in the small creeks and I'm throwing a square bill and I'm burning it along the banks and I'm fishing from the bank because the water's too high to get in and wade. I can use that braid. They're not going to see it because the water's muddy. But then if I do get snagged, a lot of times I can bend the hooks right back out and I'm good to go and I didn't lose a $10 crankbait. So let's jump into that knot. Now we're going to do the double loop knot. And this is you know, a great knot for like this little jerk bait I have here. What you're going to do is you're going to take your line and you're going to do an overhand knot. But don't cinch that down all the way. You're just going to want it to be about that size. You keep your fingers pinched on that because you don't want that to close up. Now you're going to take your tag end here, you're going to pass it through the eye of your lure, and you're going to pull that loop up to the eye, and I like to pinch it there. You don't want that loop to close. You're going to take your tag end and you're going to pass it through that loop. Like I said, keep that thumb right over that loop, keep it from closing. Now you're going to wrap this around your line three times. One, two, three. Now take that tag end and you're going to come back through both loops you created. Right through both of them. Now all you got to do is send that line back through this loop up front. Pass that through here. If I can get it. <laughs> and then you're just going to cinch this all tight. You can kind of work with this knot, try to get your loop not to be huge. And there you go. Cinched up, you just got to clip off your leader or your tag end. And you got this knot that allow a lot more movement on this jerk bait. Every time I jerk, I know I got a split ring on here and that helps, but if you don't have split rings it also it helps a lot you get that. That movement and this also works for frogs too if you like to walk your frogs that helps too and it's definitely strong enough well yep those are my favorite knots especially this time of year especially that uh piss of fun braid paired up with some monofilament or a fluorocarbon leader it really helps keep that sensitivity with that light bite but also keeps the visibility down so yep we'll see you later peace